You have to find new clients. And if you're wasting your time doing other stuff, you can't find new clients. You have to service those clients, which coming from a service-based mindset is how can you solve that person's problem? They're a buyer or seller, right? Everybody has different problems, having good dialogue, which means you actually get on the phone, you get on Zoom calls, you get face-to-face. My go-to every single time, and I've gotten my last couple dozen listings in a row, is I start the conversation off with, what are you specifically looking for in a real estate agent? Right. So that's number two. How can you properly help somebody? Because if I can't solve their problem, I'm not going to get business. And then properly nurturing them. You need those three things as an agent. And then as a team leader, you need to be able to see very simply, can the systems that I run seamlessly figure out if those agents are doing those three tasks? And that's all you need. All the extra noise, the bells and whistles, all that kind of stuff. It's just a bunch of nonsense. Because 87% of real estate agents, according to NAR, within the first five years, either fail or quit. So we're left with 13%. Of those 13%, some people just do it part-time. And they just want their real estate license because they buy a rental every few years. So out of the actual agents that make it, they're following this concept. And if you have systems that are so confusing that people can't do those three things efficiently, they're going to either fail or quit.